Good afternoon, good evening. Uh, just wanted to get on here and touch base with everybody. I know we're we're super excited to get started up and get going here next week. Um, we've we've been uh, working towards this moment and getting going and getting started. This is really when we consider our season starting. You know, once summer hits, we are we go full football mode, and uh, we couldn't be more excited. We're excited to get back with the group that we have, all the new freshmen coming in getting everybody together and now we're able to get together as a group and work out together and get on the field and do the things that we need to do. So I just wanted to touch base with you all, communicate to everybody here. I know there's a lot of new freshman families. Um, you know, we're gonna have close to probably 50 freshmen um, on the squad and, and over over 100, 100 kids on the football team this year and great opportunity for us to meet new people and, and um, you know, bring on these new freshmen and show them how we do things. So uh, we're excited to get going, but I wanted to get you guys a little information here for this next week. Um, the next, really, the next two weeks are gonna be identical, Monday through Thursday, the next two weeks, it's Warrior Workouts. So I know some of us may be confused on to what is Warrior Workout and then what is camp and what is practice. And so I'm gonna clarify all that really quick for you. Warrior Workouts, um, that's when we are up there. We are, we're up there in the mornings um, for an hour and a half and we're going to be in the weight room and on the football field doing drills so it's weights and conditioning that's warrior workout so there's going to be no football there won't be a ball out there uh, we won't be in pads we are going to be in our camp gear which i'll go over when i go over a tire um, and we'll be working out for the and that's going to be the next two weeks we have warrior workouts monday tuesday wednesday thursday for the next two weeks um, so to start with where workouts start at seven, they go from seven to 8.30. If you notice on the schedule, and all the schedules are updated in the app, um, on the schedule, we are gonna be done at 8.30 every single day all summer. Um, you know, we, we will do a great job of getting out of there on time. Um, there will be, you know, uh, varsity, we're trying to, I'm trying to get clarification. We have seven on seven um, during June on Tuesdays at 10 a.m. for varsity players. Um, last year we did varsity and JV. Um, I'm trying to talk them into allowing us to do JV as well again this year. So we'll see. It's it's being hosted at Excelsior this year. It was at Kearney last year. This year it's at Excelsior Springs High School. Um, so once uh, Coach Fob over there gets back with me um, and gets back with all of us coaches that are that are participating in the seven on seven, uh, we'll have a better idea. So that that's going to be on at Tuesdays throughout June um, and. Right now it's varsity only, but it could potentially be varsity JV guys um, that, that would get reps during those camps. So uh, freshmen will not be involved with that uh, seven on seven. So um, Warrior Workouts, attire for Warrior Workouts. So first day, day one, um, freshmen, I'm gonna tell you all freshmen are gonna wear until really until we get to July, they're gonna wear, you need a white t-shirt with your name your first and last name written on the front and your first and last name written on the back. Um, that's going to help everybody to get to know you and coaches to get to know your name, teammates, upperclassmen to get to know your name. And it's also gonna allow us to know where the freshmen are when we are out there in camp gear. So freshman attire for uh, warrior workouts and for that first month of June is going to be um, shorts, which everybody will get their camp gear on Monday. Once we get camp gear, it's camp gear shorts, and then freshman, you will wear a white t-shirt with your first and last name written on the front, first and last name written on the back. Okay, we need it on both sides so that we can read it. Just get a regular white, plain white t-shirt with a big Sharpie pen and write it on there. And it's it's pretty simple. It doesn't have to be, you know, printed on or anything like that. Just get a Sharpie and write it on there. Real simple, just a white t-shirt. Um, so that's the attire for the freshman. Everybody else, uh, day one, I'm not worried about what you're wearing. We'll have camp gear there. Um, so day one, you could wear shorts, t-shirt, um, wear your, if you wanna wear pious camp gear from last year, so we're all looking semi-uniform, um, then wear that. Uh, but shorts and t-shirt for day one. And then day two on, we will be in camp gear all summer. So um, that's gonna be the camp gear shorts and then the compression shirt that goes with the camp gear. Um, so that's what we will wear during our warrior workouts. That's what we will wear underneath our pads when we go practice and camp and, uh, this summer. So just uh, uh, just make sure we're aware of that. So 
That's the attire. Um, every single player will need cleats and tennis shoes, okay, for warrior workouts. Cleats and tennis shoes because we will be on the field doing drills. They will need cleats for these drills. These are change of direction drills. These are conditioning. Um, these are things that they will need cleats for. So they do need cleats on the field, okay? And then they will need tennis shoes for the weight room. Okay, they have to be wearing tennis shoes. No slides, no Crocs, no dude shoes, tennis shoes for the weight room, okay? Some of them have weight lifting shoes. You don't need that, uh, but tennis shoes for the weight room are mandatory. So they will need every day for warrior workouts, tennis shoes and cleats. Um, so we should have water up there from everybody. So they don't need to bring their own water. If you want to bring your own water, which some guys do, and that's perfectly fine because uh, there may be opportunities to, to get your own water. That's always good. If you want to bring your own water, you can. Um, if not, we should have uh, the, the, the trough or the crack water, what the boys call it. So we should have that ready to go this year. Uh, so expectations for... Uh, you know, warrior workouts and for pretty much everything we do this, this summer, um, you know, it, it, it's something that is, you know, for us to get to where we want to go, you know, and for you and for you, you as a player, okay, and, and you as a parent of a player, for us to get to where we want to go, for them to get to where they want to go, they need to be there, okay? If they're not going to attend, if they're not going to attend, if they can't attend, if we're out of town or if we have a baseball game or whatever it is, it needs to be communicated to me. Okay. And this year, instead of going to five different apps, we are communicating through huddle. So they will get on huddle. And this is goes for you players that are listening to this. We will get on huddle and you will send me a message through huddle saying, coach, I cannot come tomorrow or next week. So you got to tell me in advance, don't just wake up late and say, oh, coach, by the way, I'm not going to be there today, and it's 8 o'clock. Um, we need to be communicating in advance. So, And that is going to be on the player. So you parents, I don't expect you to be communicating with me um, or any of the coaches. I expect your son to be communicating with us. Okay, that's part of what we're going to do. They need to advocate for themselves. And we are, we're here. Our number one, our job with these guys is not to go win championships and win football games. It's to make them into great men. And, and this is part of that process is them advocating for themselves. So if they can't attend, they need to communicate. Okay. Um, and there will not be punishment for, you know, th for communicating with me saying, hey, I've got this on Thursday and I can't be there. Um, as long as you communicate, just make sure they're communicating. So, uh, but our standard has been great. Our attendance for the last couple of years has been great. Um, it's, it's a known thing for us to do what we need to do as a team and for these players to do what they need to do as a player. We have to, we have to be there. We have to make it a priority to show up, you know, in, in our mind as a player, it can't be an option for me to say, okay, I, you know what, I'm going to go Monday and Tuesday and I'm going to sleep in on Wednesday. You know, that can't be an option because we're letting, you're letting your team down, you're letting yourself down. And if you're not there getting better, if you're not there doing weights and conditioning, somebody else is, and they are getting better. And I can promise you, there's going to be a lot of competition on this football team this year. And, you know, the coaches are going to go with the guys they trust, the guys that show up, and the guys that show up with a purpose, that are there with intensity and with a purpose. Um, so that's the expectation. Um, and, and, the, and the boys do a good job because we lean on them to set this expectation. The leaders of our team, they're going to be the ones pushing it, making sure everybody's there and, and holding everybody accountable. And, uh, and they do a good job. And, and we're expecting great turnout. We're expecting great numbers. Um, you know, what we, we're expecting what we preach, you know, 100 from 100. 100% 100 from 100% of us. That's what, we're, that's what we preach. Um, and that's what we expect. So... Um, that's the expectations. So we've gone over warrior workouts. Um, now let's go over what camp is. And it can get confusing because some people call it camp. Some people, you know, to us, it's really just practice. Okay. So um, when you hear camp, when, so like that third week of June, on June 19th, okay, that is actual practice. We are starting football practice that day. We're, we call it camp because um, that's what you do in the summer. You call them camps. Um, but it is football practice. That is what it is. So we will get in there and we will do football things. And, 
and, and that's that is what camp is. So on the 19th, if you'll notice, on those days we start at 6 a.m. Okay, we still get finished by 8:30, but we are starting at 6 a.m. for practice. And and the young men, 100%, um, the upperclassmen will be in shells that day. Shells to us, that's our summer attire is shells when we go practice. It's helmets and shoulder pads and camp shorts with your compression shorts underneath it. Okay, so by the 19th, everybody needs to have a girdle, okay? And a girdle is compression shorts that have the pads, the thigh pads, the hip pads, and the butt pad in it. They're built into the shorts. They were on our team store. Um, if not, you can get them online, um, really anywhere. You can get them um, at Dick's, you can get them at, at Academy Sports, um, but every single player will need a girdle, at least one, because um, it is mandatory. If they're not wearing their girdle, okay, they, they cannot participate, okay? So their girdle will be underneath their shorts. Um, so that is the expectation, that is the attire for football practice or camp, what, what you guys would call camp. Um, so uh, helmets, shoulder pads, camp gear, and girdle, okay? So the camp gear is gonna be worn all summer long. So that's something that keeps us all looking uniform um, and, and, and it's something that, that we do. So they will, everybody, every single day will be in their camp gear except for freshmen when we start early through June, they will wear their white t-shirt so we can get to know them. Um, so that's practice. Um, that's the attire for practice. Um, I did not mention, so warrior workouts, we start at seven. We ended at 8.30, locker room will be open at 6.45. Um, and so the locker room will be open at 6.45. Um, some of you guys that, if we're not, we're not into practice yet, they don't need a locker. Um, the locker rooms at the field will be open too, so they could utilize locker rooms at the field. But to start with, the locker rooms down in the, in the building, which where we'll be, will be open. Um, but there's not a real big use for them until we get our pads because all the pads will be kept in the locker room. Um, so they don't go home with these young men. Um, so that's, uh, that's I think, the information that we need. So locker room will open on Monday at 6.45. Um, we, will start, we will start sharp at 7 a.m., okay? We will start our warm-ups as a team on the football field at 7 a.m. So when you, when you arrive, you, everybody will go to the football field, okay? Nobody will be in the building. We'll be at the football field. We will warm up together as a team on the football field, and then we will break off into groups from there. Um, so that's uh, that's pretty much the rundown. Just to get you guys caught up, I'll have another message for you guys before we get into uh, that third week, uh, just to give you an update on what's going to be what you're going to need for that day. Um, we're still expecting some pieces of equipment to come in too. So, uh, but for that first week of practice. On the 19th, um, we are expecting all varsity guys and JV guys, all upperclassmen to be in shells. Um, we may start freshmen um, in helmets only, uh, but we will um, we'll see how everybody's moving and how we're progressing to that point to make that decision uh, before we just throw them in there uh, with everybody. So um, if you guys have questions, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out. I think Cheryl is out of town the rest of this week. So she may not be able to get your questions answered. So if you have any questions, don't, don't hesitate to reach out and text me um, directly um, or email me and I will get you taken care of and, and get any question you have answered. Um, so we're really looking forward to getting going, really looking forward to getting these guys out there Monday. The coaches have been doing a ton of preparation, um, a ton of install. We've got, we've got a lot of new things going in this year. Um, a lot of big changes to how we do things um, from a practice standpoint, since we are platooning more than what we ever have. Um, so there's a lot of, lot of change happening this year and change for the better. It's, it's growth for our program. So we're super excited about that. And we're super excited to see all these young men out there on Monday and, and seeing everybody bright and early at 7 a.m. and, and uh, have a great, great week of workouts to get these guys going. So. One thing I would say, um, it's always good to make sure we're getting good sleep. Um, I know it's summer and, you know, doing these early mornings, we, we need to sleep. We need to get good sleep. 
um, and, and also make sure we're eating right and taking in plenty of fluids. And it, you can't just wait until the morning of or the night before. You gotta start putting fluids in your body. Um, I haven't looked at the forecast, but usually in the mornings we're usually fine, um, but it's good to get in that habit of making sure you're drinking plenty of water, making sure your sons are drinking plenty of water, making sure they're eating good foods, because um, what you put in is what you put out. And, um, and, and it's, it's very, very true. So making sure, you know, they don't have to eat 100% clean meals, but making sure they're putting the, the right fuel in their body, uh, because we're gonna be asking their bodies to do a lot of different things um, here coming up. I mean, it, it's gonna, it will get intense. We're gonna get in shape and, and uh, get these guys where they're healthy on the, keep them healthy so we can keep them healthy on the football field. Um, so that's, that's a little bit for you guys here. If you have questions, please reach out to me. Cheryl's out, I think until uh, maybe Sunday or Monday. Um, so please reach out to me when she gets back. I'm sure she'll communicate with you guys too that she's back and you guys can reach out to her, but don't hesitate to reach out to me in between now and Monday. And, and hopefully I can get all your questions answered. But we're looking forward to seeing you all uh, bright and early on Monday. And uh, great day to be a warrior.